Old Carter, bourbon batch number 15, sits here in front of me today. Guys, this one distilled in Indiana, uh, coming in 117 proof. I've been a big fan of what Old Carter has done and is currently doing. Um, was a huge fan of the bourbon batch number 14. Uh, that is still currently in my top 10 whiskeys so far this year. Excited to see where this one may land, guys. Without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so as I stated, this one is distilled in Indiana. comes in at 117 proof. Let's get in the nose. So further into the glass, it is, um, it's very dense. It's very rich. Um, pull out some, um, some like milk chocolate and then some, like a mixture of some yellow cake there further into the glass. Further away from the glass, it still maintains that, um, that kind of like caramel and, uh, vanilla sweetness, but I do get, um, some like cinnamon, like a, like a cinnamon swirl, almost like a, uh, some vanilla icing, um, like further away from the glass. Yeah, that perfect mixture of that, uh, that like vanilla, um, that, that cakiness, and then that milk chocolate kind of together. It's very sweet. It's very inviting on the nose. Again, further away, you're still getting some of that, that caramel and vanilla sweetness, but then you're also getting um, some, there's like some baking spices in there, a little bit of some oakiness too, um, further away from the glass. Further away, I think it's kind of dominated by that um, that chocolate kind of yellow cake kind of sweetness. But um, then there's like, again, that, that cinnamon, there's some oakiness, um, some like icing there further away from the glass. Beautiful and inviting nose, guys. Let's get into the palate. Cheers. Yeah, that is just that is it's it's rich. It's kind of it's like robust. It's mouth coating has a nice kind of spiciness to it. The spiciness does kind of slowly kind of fade away. But like on the front of the palate, a lot of what I was getting on the nose, it's like this. Uh, this spicy, like this spicy caramelized like chocolate from the front and middle of the palate. And as it hits the back of the palate, you do start to get like a little bit of like some tobacco leaf in there. And you get some of that, like I guess some cola, like some cola notes there on the back of the palate with some of that, like uh, it's more of a dense kind of uh, oakiness on, on this one. It's There's some sweetness there that kind of, you know, that flows through into the back. But definitely a lot of um, some some kind of dense uh, oak notes there on the back of the palate. It 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 covers the the palate very well. It's it's it has a really nice viscosity to it. It's very oily. Let's get a second sip. This definitely has a fantastic mouthfeel to it. It has a nice finish, medium to long, borderline long finish. But that like. That spicy kind of of chocolate um, is is very different there on the front of the palate. Don't get any of like that yellow cake um, that you would typically you know get on some of those like American whiskeys and sometimes some of their bourbons. Um, but it is a it's like a spicy spicy milk chocolate there on the front middle of the palate. And then as it gets to the like the mid to back palette, you start to pick up some traditional kind of notes there, like your caramels and your vanillas. And there's like that cinnamon that was present there before, which is part of that, that spicy um, kind of chocolate feel there on the, on the front mid palette. And as it gets to the back, it just like this appearance of like a cola note, uh, a tobacco leaf, and then some dense, some dense kind of Oak really just having a, a party there on the, on the back of the palette. It's really good. It's getting less of guys. So one thing I'll say about this is that it is very consistent, not like anything that's kind of uh, evolving there on the palate, um, but you're still getting that spicy, like that spicy milk chocolate, um, lots of different spices in there. It's almost like, it's almost like it has this, this like white pepper, this cinnamon, this allspice, all kind of like wrapped up in uh, like a, a milk chocolate bite. And then as it gets to the middle of the palate, mid to back palate, you do get, you know, some of that sweetness from that car caramel and vanilla kind of make its appearance there for, for a second. 
and then all of a sudden it transitions into like this this other ball of um, tobacco leaf and and dense oak and like these um, these kind of cola notes there that are just like really kind of dancing around the back of the palate and into the finish has a medium to long finish like that borderline on that that long finish again another great pour here by old carter so i want to thank you guys for tuning in to dusty dan's whiskey reviews as we review old carter batch number 15 uh guys this is another old carter that is just absolutely fantastic um how does it compare to batch 14 uh you know we'll have to see i'll have to drink a little bit more of this one just to see kind of where uh where it lands, but it is a it is definitely a darker and uh, very rich and kind of robust, um, savory, if you will, kind of um, kind of pour on this one. Uh, again, kind of leans more towards like like that darker side, you know, spicy spicy milk chocolate, um, some some kind of dense oak, some cola notes, a little bit of tobacco there on the back of the palate. Oh, Carter, still doing things right. Um, again, batch fourteen is still in my top ten whiskeys so far this year. Not sure where this Bash 15 may land, if it'll make it at all, but regardless, it is still a damn good pour. If you guys want more reviews like this, hit that subscribe button and bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You can also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. Till next time, guys. Say Dusty.